there and welcome back to Dakota News Now. It is now time for another edition of Owning Your Outdoors. Joining me as always is Doug Schroeder from Lewis. And uh, Doug, we're still going with the expert thing. What do we have going on today? Yeah, we have a really great new uh, oven that's been out for a couple years now, uh, Uni Pizza Ovens. But as you'll find out, as our chef talks, you can do so much more on them. But today we're focused on pizza. And uh, I would like to introduce Zach Miller. He's traveled quite a ways to be with us today. He's a wealth of knowledge and turn it over to Zach. All right, Zach, so what are we doing? Yeah, thanks, Doug. So we're making pizza, uh, as Doug alluded to. <laughs> yeah. um, we're Uni Pizza Ovens. Basically, all of our ovens are fully portable uh, and can all heat up to 950 degrees Fahrenheit in 15 to 20 minutes. So what that means is you're cooking pizza in 60 seconds. Um, you know, the company started, as I'm sure a lot of us can relate to, uh, making pizza at home in your conventional oven. It's good, but it's not great. Uh, so basically, the husband and wife team that are the co-founders um, really made this their mission to have, you know, uh, homes across the world be able to have restaurant quality pizza at home. Uh, and of course, you know, since they're portable, you can take them to the lake, you can take them uh, tailgating to the beach, to a buddy's house, what have you. But yeah, all of them are get up to 950 degrees. So yeah, it, it's really impressive. I, I'd never seen anything like it before I got mine. All right, so if we're making a pizza at home, what do we have to do? The main thing that you want to make sure is when you have the dough, uh, you want to make sure it's really well floured so it doesn't stick. Uh, sticking is the enemy here because once it starts sticking, it's gonna, the shape's gonna get all weird. You're gonna start tearing it and that's uh, not the best. So we wanna have it nice and well floured here. And you can see, by the way, like these are uh, pretty classic ingredients, you know, sauce, cheese, pepperoni. This stuff is all available at most grocery, even most gas stations, you could probably get this stuff. There's so many ways to stretch pizza. There's not one right way. Um, so it's honestly about whatever works for you. Uh, for beginners, I'm a big fan of driving the bus, which is just, you know, going in a circle, letting gravity do the work. So next you're gonna add some sauce. That's right, yeah. So you don't, you know, like I said, you can do whatever you want. You can do a white pizza, which typically is just cheese and olive oil. Like uh, this would be what's called in the biz a red pie. Um, but yeah, uh, the key with toppings on an uni is that less is more. Uh, the reason is because it's cooking so quickly that as opposed to at home in a conventional oven where you're loading it with all this stuff and it's in the oven maybe 10, 15 minutes, like this is actually gonna cook in around 60 seconds. And if you have too much stuff on there, it's just not gonna cook all the way through. So really it's not as much about the uh, quantity of stuff you're putting on, just about spreading it out nice and even. And of course, like as you, as you cook more pizzas and you get used to it, like you'll find that sweet spot of extra cheese or extra sauce, but it will still come out okay. So we'll start just with a, a cheese pizza. We're just gonna put it towards the back of the oven, put it at a slight angle and just shake it off, let gravity do the work. And now we play the waiting game. This is not just so you know, uh, a set it and forget it situation though. Uh, you wanna make sure you're keeping your eyes on it, especially, you know, uh, after you turn it the first time because then it goes really quickly. So we're just gonna slide our metal peel right underneath. And you can see already just from being in there a few seconds, we have some great color. Those dark spots are what's called leoparding. That's what you're looking for. And I'm by the way going on full blast high heat. What's great about our Coda 16 here, uh, which is our propane 16 inch oven, uh, it has a knob the same way you'd see on any gas grill. So if you want to do a uh, pizza at a lower temperature, like a more New York style or a deep dish even, it's great for that. You don't have to fiddle with wood and gauging that temperature. All you do is turn it down, really easy. So at this point, all we're looking for is color. The base is nice and cooked. Ideally, you only, because of the L-shaped burner in the oven, have to turn it once. I'm just fidgety and I like to, you know, touch things, move it you around. You want to make sure it's good, perfect on all sides, right? That's right. You want to make sure that it has color all the way around. Um, you know, obviously it's getting the direct flame contact, but the stone is also super hot right now, probably around like 800 degrees. And the heat is coming down and cooking at the top. 
that's how you're basically able to get this pizza uh, to come out so fast. So you had, you know, the color from the flame. You can see all that heat on the top with the nice cheese. And then if you look at the bottom, you can see those dark spots there too. Nice crispy crust. And we're just going to put this here on our bamboo. Yeah, so that's it. Slice it up and you're done. That's a pizza pie, man. All right, perfect. We're going to have all this information online at dakotanewsnow.com right after the show, but make sure you stick around. We have FastCast coming up next.